Welcome in Kariboni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to make Waliwa Sumini means jasmine flower rice. All right, the jasmine means asumini in Kiswahili. So over here, I've got my onions. This is what's gonna represent the jasmine flower. And I've got the rice, of course, I'm using basmati rice. And I've got the eggs, which are optional, some salt and a tablespoon of ghee. So over here, I've got my onions, which are thinly sliced. Uh, in rounds but you can uh, cut them in quarters that's fine and I'm basically just trying to remove the extra moisture from the onions so when I fry them they become crispier much faster okay so you want to fry the onions like how you do the biryani if you have made a biryani you will see how the onions are fried and you want them nice and golden crispy and in this side I'm boiling my eggs as well and uh, I'm just you just want to toast and turn the onions so that they cook easily on both sides now why the onions are representing jasmine flower now if you in zanzibar uh, the jasmine flowers they're very small and when they dry they become brown so i think that's how this uh, dish came to be known as jasmine rice i mean as well you so many sorry so I'm just, uh, my onions are ready, nice and golden. I'm just putting them in a paper towel to remove any excess grease. Now on this side, I've got my water. I'm about to boil the water and I've just added about one and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'm adding some whole spices, which is uh, cinnamon, bay leaf, cardamoms, cloves, and star anise. This is just to get some nice uh, flavor. Now my rice was washed, soaked for about 20 minutes and we're just going to add the rice once the water has come to a boil. And I cook this for about 7 to 8 minutes. You don't want to overcook your rice, you just want to uh, half cook. Alright, and you want it to be hard on the outside and about soft on the inside. And once that's done, you just want to drain the rice, you drain the water. And if you feel that you have cooked, overcooked your rice, you can actually run some cold water here quickly so that it uh, stays firm. Okay, and in the meantime, I'm just removing all the whole spices because they were just to flavor the rice. And that's it, it's very simple. So now we're just ready to mix the rice and the onions. It's a very simple dish and um, the onions add that nice sweet uh, taste to the rice you know the because they're fried but they have that uh, caramelized uh, 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 flavor kind of okay so we just add the ghee too and then add the rice again and the ghee my ghee is kind of solidified because it's very cold but you know it's gonna melt in this uh, hot rice and that's it you just want to mix it well and then I cover it with aluminum foil and then I put it in the um, in the oven for about uh, 25 minutes uh, 350 you can go 25 to 30 minutes uh, that's fine 350 Fahrenheit which is about 177 Celsius Now, after 25 minutes, this is our rice. This rice tastes like biryani, uh, minus all those uh, spices, but it's very beautiful. And then we're just going to decorate it with the eggs. The eggs are optional, but I love the yellow and white contrast to give that extra jasmine look. All right, so I've served mine with a chicken. Stay tuned for the recipe that's going to come shortly. Um, this is usually served with something uh, very dry, not too saucy. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma of Zanzibar.